Hello, my name is Briar, writer, teacher, and general enjoyer of the chaos. Today, I'm going to be introducing you to my newest kind of chaotic project that I'm taking on for the month of November, inspired by National Novel Writing Month. This year, I've decided that I am not going to be writing for NaNoWriMo. I'm not going to be writing 50,000 words in the month of November. That's not my goal. The project on the NaNo website that I have that's associated with this NaNoWriMo for 2022 might say differently, but we're not going to focus on that today. Instead, I've created a video series project related to NaNoWriMo, where I'm going to be going through the month of November and looking at NaNoWriMo through the lens of Save the Cat. If you've been on this side of the AuthorTube space, you've probably seen this book at some point in the past weeks, months, years, forever. A lot of people really love this book, myself included. One of the most important tools that this book provides is the beat sheet. The 15 plot points that are sort of in most successful stories. It's not a prescriptive formula where it's like, use these 15 beats and create your story out of it and you will be successful. It's more of a descriptive deep dive into this is what people have found to be present in most successful stories for everything in all time. So this is going to be taking those 15 beats and looking at NaNoWriMo with that in mind. So for the month of November, I am going to be making 13 videos in this Nano Beats series. I'm going to be breaking the month of November into different days, phases of the NaNoWriMo process and merging it with the beats of Save the Cat. Now I know, Save the Cat has 15 beats and I'm making only 13 videos. That's because for my sanity, 13 is already a whole lot of videos and if I tried to make one for each beat it would end up not working out so some of those beats are going to be merged into just one video instead. I'm already bad at getting one video up a week. I'm going to be trying for two to three videos for the month of November but again this is my nano project. When we talk about NaNoWriMo, a lot of people talk about how 50,000 words in a month is crazy. And agreed, it kind of is for a lot of people, especially people who are balancing work and writing, for whom writing and maybe YouTube and things like that isn't a full-time gig, isn't even really a side gig, is just a passion. And NaNoWriMo really pushes us deep, deep, deep into that passion to pull from a well that may or may not sometimes feel like it's getting empty really quickly. And the act of writing 50,000 words in a month is a story itself. And so why can't we just take the story that is what we're doing and our lives and make that into, make it fit the beats. So I feel like I'm explaining this poorly. So I'm just gonna really dive in. This series is going to be a sort of metacognitive exercise looking at the act of the novelist writing a novel and using the tools of a novel writing craft book <laughs> to see what comes of it. What is the experience? What is the story of the writer through the National Novel Writing Month? So without further ado, I'm going to transition into what will become my Nano Beat series. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything that sparks off in your brain that you think could contribute, because I really, I kind of want this to be a community effort. Like I've got a lot of things scripted, but if there's something that stands out to you like, oh, this is something from the beat sheet that really fits into my NaNoWriMo experience, then I would love to hear about it. 
If you're interested in following along with the rest of this series, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so that I know that I'm on the right path. It's going to take me a lot of effort and willpower to get 13 videos out for this series. If you have any words of wisdom, encouragement, anything, please let me know in the comments down below. And let's do this. Beat number one, opening image. A single scene showing the world and the characters before a change, flaws and all. Our hero, the novelist, settles down to their desk and opens their laptop. A stack of notebooks sits beside them, some clearly only half finished. A file on their desktop is titled Novels, and inside there are a dozen different folders, with even more files within folders. It's a mess. Instead of opening any of those old files, they create a new one and open a new document. They stare for a moment at the blinking cursor on the blank page. Before they can type anything at all, a ding echoes from the laptop's tinny speakers. An email notification pops up in the corner from NaNoWriMo. Don't forget to announce your novel on t The novelist opens the message. They smile. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. If you're curious to see where our hero is going next and how the novelist tackles NaNoWriMo, please tune in on November 1st, hopefully, fingers crossed, knock on wood, to see where our hero ends up as we go into the next beat of our story with the theme stated. See y'all next time. Bye. So I'm going to be taking some elements of this book and sort of using it to create a... Mm, I wrote all this out for a reason. I have a script. <laughs> okay. Try again. Mm -hmm.